In this video, I am going to show you how to program your AT&T Universal Remote. There are two ways to program your Universal Remote. The first option is to search for the device code. And the second option is to manually enter your device code. This Universal Remote is Model S10-S2 and this can program up to four devices. The first button here is labeled for your cable box. The second button is labeled for your television. The third button in the center is the power button. The fourth button here is for your video devices such as your DVD. And the final button is for your audio receiver. To program the remote, you will need to put the remote in programming mode. To do this, you need to press and hold the desired device button along with the OK button for one second and release. In this case, I am programming a receiver and the designated button is to the extreme right. So I will first press and hold the desired device button, then press and hold the OK button. Press and hold them both for one second and release. All four device buttons will flash twice to indicate that the remote is in programming mode. So to program the remote using the code search method, you will need to point the remote to the device and press one of these two buttons to search for the code. So you should start by hitting the forward button and by doing that, the remote should search for the device code. You should ensure that your device is already turned on and when the code is found, the device should turn off. If the device light on the remote flashes 8 times, it means that the remote is unable to search for the code and you need to restart. If after restarting it flashes 8 times again, you might not be able to automatically search for the code and you will need to try the manual option. To use the manual option, you will need your device code. This is a list of most device codes. This is provided by AT&T. I will put a link in the description below. So you need to locate your code and write it down. There might be multiple codes for your type of device. To search for your code, you will first need to find the device type such as television, DVD player. Then you will need to search for your brand such as Sony, Samsung and then you will use one of the codes provided. Put the remote back in programming mode by pressing and holding the desired device button along with OK button for one second and release. All four device buttons should flash twice which will indicate that the remote is in programming mode. Now enter the four digit code for your device. Remember you can find your device code in the list of codes provided. After you enter your four digit device code, the device light on the remote should flash which will indicate that the code is registered. Now you can test your device to see if the code is working by hitting the power button and if the code is working, your device should turn off and in this case here, it is turned off. After the code is entered and able to power off the device, you should check to see if anything else work. You can turn the device back on and for the receiver, check the volume button. If those two work, that's all you need. You can try the same manual method to program all your other devices. But if you are programming a television, you will need to ensure that the channel buttons work as well. And that's it guys, that's how you program your AT&T Universal Remote. If you find this video interesting, please give a like and subscribe. And remember to hit the notification bell for future videos. See you on the next one guys.